Hey YouTubers, man, have I got a video review for you guys today. As you can see, this is the Quiet Cat Jeep Bike. And I've had this thing for several months now. And uh, I reached out to Quiet Cat and I said, hey, can you guys own me a, a Jeep bike to do a review on? You know, it looks really good in all the videos and stuff. And, you know, but my biggest concern is you see a lot of the little smaller guys riding these bikes and you know is this thing really going to be able to hold up to a big guy like me I'm a little over 300 pounds and so you know I, I wanted to know if this thing was going to be strong enough but uh anyways he was uh glad to send me the bike out uh, they just told me to ride it and let me know what you think and to be honest with you I've had it for uh, two months now and uh, um they haven't reached out to me to to ask me how's it going or they're not telling me hey you need to you know say this or that and other they're giving me just free reign to say whatever i want to and so i thought that was really really nice you know they're not trying to influence me at all and you know they just provided me with a bike and said here you go just ride it and so that's what i wanted to bring to you guys today and kind of answer some of the questions in this video that i had about this bike and uh, share it with you guys at home it's an amazing bike uh there's things that in places that I've been on this bike that I never could have went on a regular bike um, I mean just look at me I, I'm I'm definitely not fit and I have a lot of health problems and you know I have gout and stuff like that and my joints are not the best and so uh, there's no way I could have rode the places that I've rode uh, with my joints being this bad I'm gonna quit running my mouth and uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and get started I'm fixing to go up this uh, steep trail and uh, I wanted to show you guys that, you know, uh, just how steep that it really is. I mean, the trail goes right up through here and winds on back to your right and then goes back to your left. And I know the camera's not gonna do it justice, but you can see, I mean, the mountain goes way on up through there. I'm kind of stuck down here in a, a valley and, you know, normally, you know, it would take everything that I've got to power myself up this uh, trail. I mean, it would just be, um, impossible for me. I, I would be down for the day if I, if I did that. You know, with the, the Quiet Cat, this thing's got such a powerful motor on it and that you can just muscle up the, the hill. And I'm going to show you uh, in, here in the video that, you know, whenever I start off on this, you can see that I'm, I'm not uh, pedaling that much. And, you know, a lot of times when I pedal, it's just really to help give the motor a little help, but also to help keep my balance as well, too. And I'm going to kick the power setting up. Since this is pretty steep, I'm gonna kick it up to like a four and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. But just watch, uh, you don't see me pedaling very much at all. All right, guys, so I told you that this uh, well, Quiet Cat G bike has uh, five different power settings, and you can see right here on the display it's in one, and I can adjust it by hitting this uh, button. It goes up and down, and you can see it goes up to five, and then it goes all the way down to zero. So at zero, it's no assist at all, and then when you put it in one, that's like an economy, and it helps preserve the battery, but it also provides you uh, the least amount of assist and I just wanted to show you just how powerful it is just in the first level. Now, 
uh, whenever I go to take off, just notice that, you know, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna kick off with my foot and then uh, watch how the motor kicks in. I'm not gonna be touching the, the throttle over here. I'm just gonna let the, the torque of the motor kick in. And uh, as you see that I pedal, it starts to pick up on the torque that I apply with my feet into the pedals and then the motor picks up on that and it applies torque too and it moves me along and once I get up to power level five this thing really goes when you when you uh, pedal this thing man it, it really takes off but I'm gonna show you what it's like in in the first level so you just see how fast I get going just from just a little bit of pedaling see that And that was with me going uphill. So, you know, you can imagine, you know, um, how much more powerful this thing would be, you know, in a, a higher power setting. So I'm gonna put it in level five and I'm gonna take off. And you can see that, you know, I hardly even pedal. Just pay attention when I get a little bit of pedal, and watch how this thing just takes off. This thing will fly, and that I didn't even have a chance to change gears. Now, if I was to have a longer, flatter area where I could just change through all nine gears, man, this thing, there's no telling how fast it would go. I would say it would go a little over 30 miles per hour with me on it. Now, if you're a smaller guy, you could probably go a little bit faster, but uh, this thing does not lack in power. So, I just showed you guys that, um, you know, the five different power levels and how this bike really picks up and assists you on pedaling. Now if you're at home wondering, well how much does it assist you? What does it feel like? Does it really take the work out of pedaling the bike? You know, let's say, you know, you're out of shape or you're a big guy and you haven't pedaled a bike in 20 years like me and you're wondering what it's like, just like I was, you know, if you want to not pedal, you don't have to. You can just mash this throttle button right here and um, the throttle will take you. You don't even have to pedal if you don't want to. I can, I can take off and not even pedal. Uh, I'll show you that. I have it in level. I'll put it in level one. Let's say I want to take off and not pedal. Watch this. I'm using the throttle right here, and you'll see my legs are. Not, I'll even take my feet off. Watch. Now you guys can see right there, I didn't pedal not one time going around that whole circle and you can see it's on level one right here. And I didn't even change gears. I could have changed gears and went faster, but I was at like 15 miles an hour just in, in that, that one gear and not even pedaling. Now I'm going to kick it up to level five and I'm going to take off and I'm not going to pedal. I'm just going to... Uh, let the bike do the work and I'm, I'm going downhill right here at first and then I'm, the parking lot kind of slopes uphill it doesn't matter uh, if I was to start going uphill this thing would take off just the same but check this out
you can see that you know I went around there a lot faster than I did the first time because it's on power level five but the top speed was still the same because I kept it in like the first gear and I was still able to get up to like 15 miles an hour but let's say you know I wanted to go faster I can change gears right here just like you would on a normal bicycle you just change your gears and you know I could go as fast as I could control the the bike on the on the pavement here now when I got down there to that turn obviously I'm not going to be able to uh, go very fast in that turn but you know um, you know faster than what you could do on a normal bike um, these tires on this thing they're amazing uh, they're almost five inches wide so you can see that's why they call it a fat tire bike and this thing really gets good traction and and when you're going around the the corners the suspension in this thing really does keep you planted it has an inverted fork suspension here on the front so you can see when I mash down on it that it compresses and takes all the you know all the bumps out of the, the front of the suspension and it's adjustable too if you come here I'll show you right here on the front the way that you can adjust it you can just turn this knob right here like if I turn it that way, clockwise, it shows that it stiffens up the suspension. And I can tighten it up. And then once I tighten it up, you can see that it's real stiff here in the front. Or if I want to, I can loosen that suspension up. And you can see it's a lot looser here in the front. Now as far as the uh, Monarch shock that's up underneath me here, you can see when I apply my weight to it, that it goes down. I mean, you can see. I really didn't know to, um, what to expect because I'd never really been on a bike with a suspension that was this good. And it's not your Walmart <laughs> a mountain bike that you would pick up for a couple hundred dollars. Trust me. This thing really, it really hugs the trail. And, you know, it really helps a lot with uh, the bumps. And it gives a pretty good ride. Now, my only con to the bike that I have personally found for myself, since I'm a big guy and I've got a big butt, you know, my, my biggest thing is the seat. For a big guy like me, this little seat's not very comfortable, but for a little guy, you know, it would be fine. It does have some good chill, uh, it feels like in the seat, so it's very squishy, but like I said, with a big 300 pound guy like me, I'd like a little bit wider of a seat. I'm just going to ride around and let you guys get a look. As you've seen, you know, I, I didn't use my, my throttle at all. I just uh, pedaled, and you can see I'm not out of breath from that. Didn't have any problems. And, uh, you know, I, it seemed to cut through this field like it was nothing. And, you know, I like this thing, but I'm not so sure about the cows over here. They didn't seem to like it too much when I went by.
well as you can see I've been riding through the the field here and you know this grass is pretty thick and the bike doesn't have any problems going through this at all it has a lot of power and you know it doesn't it doesn't really bog down now I do have it on level five and the cows are going crazy they don't know what to think about this they've never seen a bike before and uh, anyways but you know this thing really does power through and it has good power it doesn't really bog down where you can't get through it uh, it would go over a lot higher grass than this so anyways um, just wanted to show you how it how it does on taller grass you like the e-bike you gonna ride it so I just want to give you my final thoughts on the Quiet Cat Jeep e-bike. And I got to say, um, now I've had the bike for over three and a half months. And I got to say, it's, it's an awesome bike. It really is. I haven't had any problems out of it. And I have rode the thing like I stole it. And, you know, when Quiet Cat told me, they said, you know, you just take it and uh, ride it and give us a review on it. That was my take on, hey, you just do whatever and you know let us let us know you know um, obviously you don't break it in a million pieces by you know letting somebody run over it with a tank but of course give it a a, a good review and that's what I've tried to do for you guys and uh, in this video you see me ride it through all different types of terrain and all that kind of stuff and and uh, you know it's handled everything that I could throw at it and truthfully you know the the bike is a lot more powerful than what I thought it would be whenever I first received it uh, I thought that it would bog down with a big guy like me. And like I said, I'm over 300 pounds. I figured it would bog down, but it doesn't. Uh, it has a, a lot of power. And so uh, I'm really shocked. I, I just am really shocked at it. Uh, I've never uh, really messed with uh, any kind of electrical bikes or electrical vehicles or, or any of that. And since the beginning of this video, I have actually... Uh, rode in a Tesla and I was really shocked at that as well you know I just I guess I'm old school when it comes to that type of technology and uh, yeah I was really shocked at how fast it, that it really was and so uh, anyways it was no different with the the e-bike it was uh, it was very powerful and uh, everybody that I've let ride the thing has been very impressed with it and you know um, my HVAC technician had come out to work on my AC unit and he was asking me all these questions about it and stuff and and finally I just asked him I was like hey man you want to ride it and he's like oh yeah 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 his eyes got real big and so uh, I showed him where the throttle control was there on the uh, on your left thumb there and uh, just told him you know use that as your your throttle and so he took off to the front yard and uh, went out there to the the main road out in front of my house and you know it's uh, he took it down the road for at least a mile or two and uh, he comes back and he is just like a little kid you know he just couldn't believe how powerful the thing was and and uh, you know how much torque that it had you know and he's not a little guy he was probably about <clears throat> if I had to guess I would say he's about 230 and uh, you know when he he come back and was talking to me about it I said well did you switch gears and he said no I just use the throttle controller I was like dude you didn't even switch gears I mean you you uh you should go back out and I showed him how to change the gears on it and everything and and again he went back out to the road and he took it down uh, a mile or two and, and when he came back he was more shocked that you know it how fast uh, the bike was and and how powerful it was and you know it's just unreal and uh, also my in-laws uh, they uh, are big deer hunters and every year they go to uh, the Midwest and, and go on these hunts and stuff and so you know for them it's a it's a family thing them the dad goes and the son goes and the mom goes and and so they all all three love it and so I knew they had a trip coming up and so uh, you know I, I asked them I said hey you guys want to take the the Jeep bike with you and and uh, on your hunt and see if uh, you know see if you like it tell me what you what you think about it and so their trip was like a week. I know it was two weeks. It was two weeks long, I believe. And so when they come back, um, you know, I asked them about it. And, uh, you know, they were telling me that, you know, uh, the frame was a little too tall for them. I'm six foot one. And so, you know, I, the bike that I have is the larger frame. And so, um, you know, for them, they're not quite as tall as me. And so the bike was a little too tall. So they should have went 
uh, for like the medium frame, but you know, they didn't have one available. So I, you know, like I said, I just loaned them mine with the large frame <clears throat> and uh, you know, they took it on their trip and they said that they enjoyed having the bike, you know, it saved them a lot of walking to their, their tree stands and all that. And you know, one thing that they did tell me that I, I thought that, you know, I would pass along to you guys is, you know, the, the dad had hunted all day and, you know, in the late evening when he come down out of the tree stand and he rode the bike to go pick up his wife, you know, and, and, uh, all this, um, he went to get on the bike and everything and he rode to her, her tree stand or, or blind or whatever, wherever she hunts from. And, um, she didn't even hear him pull up. Uh, and, and he was right up on her and it kind of startled her that, you know, he, you know, was able to ride up on her and her not be able to hear him, uh, hear him. And so I thought that was pretty neat, you know, and I guess that's why they call it a quiet cat. And it's on all these hunting shows. If you watch them, there's a, you see a lot of quiet cat, uh, bikes on there. And so, um, you know, it's really neat. Uh, the only sound you'll get out of the, uh, the, uh, the bike is just a little bit of a hum, um, from the the motor but that's that's really it um so you know if you're you're big into hunting you know this thing's gonna be a lot quieter than a four-wheeler you know and you know you're not gonna get the fumes you're not gonna get the the loud noise from the motor you don't have to deal with gas and all that kind of stuff and so that is very handy uh now if you're a trail rider um, this bike is awesome the uh suspension on it you know, it really does cut down on a lot of those, uh, you know, jolts and all that. And, you know, I, I'm very impressed with it. I figured it would beat me up really bad, you know, just like the, you know, bikes, you know, when we were kids, they're, they don't have any kind of suspension on them. And so you hit a, you know, bump or something, you feel it. And so, you know, I hadn't rode a bike in 20 something years. And so, you know, I was really shocked that the suspension was as, uh, uh, that it worked as good as it it, it does and so uh, also the brakes uh, I, I didn't show you guys uh, in the in the video I might put it in there at the very end for like a blooper or something but uh, you know I was took off down the sidewalk at the park here and my girlfriend was filming and you know I, I went was going down through there and I was flying I mean literally I had the the bike it, I was close to 30 miles an hour on it and you know there was a, a shift in the, the sidewalk and I didn't want to go off the sidewalk into the main road because I didn't know if there was a car coming so I looked like an idiot but I locked the back brakes up on this thing and I tell you what the brakes on the quiet cat are no joke that thing has uh, disc brakes on it and uh, when you hit them man it's, it's just as strong as like the brakes in your car and uh, like I said, I, I might put the video at the end of this as like a blooper, but man, that thing left like a huge black mark. I mean, it was probably, I don't know, I'm guessing 10, 15 feet long, but man, it, it, when you hit the brakes in the quiet cat, man, you know, you know, the, the brakes work. So anyways, uh, I'm going to quit rambling and uh, just go ahead and tell you guys that whenever I started this video, I was not an affiliate for, uh, quiet cat bikes and so uh, after having this bike for over three and a half months I've been very impressed with it they didn't give me no bike they haven't paid me any money they've not given me no script this is an unbiased review but I believe in their product and I like their product and you know I, I wanted to become an affiliate because you know it's it's a great product and you know it's you know until you ride it you know, I mean, you're you're at home looking at, at the YouTube videos, sitting here thinking, ah, oh, this guy's just trying to tell us this, so we'll buy one. No, I'm telling you this because it is fun to ride. It is really a lot of fun. But, uh, you know, I did become an affiliate for them. And so if you're interested in buying a uh, Quiet Cat bike, click on the link down in my description. And that will give me a little bit of commission towards and help support my YouTube channel. And, you know, it doesn't cost you guys any more, uh, whether you go to buy it from my link or if you go directly to Quiet Cat, it's still the same price no matter what. But, uh, you know, it does help me uh, get, get just a little bit of commission to help support my YouTube channel and keep it going because I do a lot of reviews and everything. And, you know, I, I keep it honest. I'm, a, I'm a, just a non-biased uh, 
reviewer. And I, uh, you know, I pride myself on that. And I appreciate you guys watching. And, you know, uh, like I said, I've had a, a blast doing this review over the last few months. And, you know, if you're even remotely interested in a quiet cat, um, I noticed that uh, Bass Pro uh, started having some in their stores. So, you know, uh, go to Bass Pro and, and check it out. Maybe they'll let you ride one. Uh, if not, I think that you can do like a trial period with Quiet Cat and they'll send one out and let you try it out for so many miles. And, you know, if you're not interested, you can send it back. But I got to say, once you get on it and you drive it, you're going to want it. But anyways, I'm going to not ramble on anymore. And I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And uh, please like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, guys, hope you guys have a good day. Thank you so much for watching. All right, so if you're wondering how good are the brakes on the Quiet Cat bike on pavement, well, let me show you. Well, a few minutes ago, I was coming down through here, and I was going a little too fast. My girlfriend was doing some video of me, and I was showing out <laughs> like I always do, and then I regret it later. But uh, anyways, I was coming down through here. I was running. Uh, in the 20s. I'm not sure exactly, but I know I was doing over 20 and I come through here and I uh, Hit the brakes right here and you can see that it starts right here and Then it goes Way up there So if you're wondering how good the, the brakes are on this thing, they're fabulous and you can see All the way down through here all the way All the way right here. You can see the the, uh, the rubber on the corner of the uh, pavement right there. It's stuck in there. And then right here, <laughs> that's where I stopped. 